Obisika, thank you so, so much for joining us and uh, welcome to uh, ENCA. I'm sure you would have heard uh, you know, some of the sentiments there shared by uh, the DA's Jane Cowley and her also coming from the Eastern Cape. Perhaps let's start with clarity regarding what the DA is saying, but also uh, what uh, the MEC of Education herself, Nomakosa Sanameth, saying there's currently no policy in directing stakeholders in uh, how to handle you know, these cases or in terms of handling these particular cases around uh, teenage pregnancies. I mean, what was your reaction there, spokesperson? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, to me, uh, good afternoon to ENCA view, viewers. Um, I think uh, let me try to uh, recall and remind the viewers that uh, two years back, the basic uh, Department of Basic Education uh, adopted a policy which uh, it was enforcing that all of those that are in the schooling system uh, in the form of parents in the form of SGPs, in the form of um, uh, 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 teachers, um, they must have an obligation that when there is a learner that gets pregnant uh, within the schooling system, mm. uh, and that being done by an older person, uh, those people have got an obligation to report um, uh, such a statutory rape to the police. And I can tell you that uh, as the department, um, we have had such uh, incidents where when there is a teacher or even a person that uh, would have been uh, said to be involved in a learner and ultimately get to impregnate such a learner, we become the ones that take that matter up. I would make an example, a school in Aiduja called Mongolo. We had such an incident and it was the Department of Education using that particular policy which was adopted by National Department of Basic Education.